Interesting, the left hemisphere and right hemisphere are differently active. So the frontal lobes are these higher cognitive functions, but they're also responsible for emotion. He might be having an emotional connection to what he's, or, or a feeling mm. here that he's then processing. One thing that I still can't figure out is how Chris can predict so accurately when the orbs will start appearing. I mean, he calls it within just one or two minutes at a time before we have our first sighting, and he can't explain why, and so far, the only thing that seems to give us any insight is the EEG and the fact that he seems to have some kind of energy-based neurological connection with the phenomenon around him. That's in his left frontal region, an idling state in the left frontal lobe. You said that's an idling state? Yeah. but. In this moment, he's actually calling. He's requesting, right? He's requesting. It's almost like he goes into a meditative state that's what to I'm, request. That's what I'm thinking. He kind of shuts it down. That's interesting. Where normally, if you were to request something, you would see more activity in the communication center of the brain. You've heard of athletes going into the flow state? Right. I would equate it to that. What's fascinating about watching Chris's EEG is as he makes these requests, his brain actually calms down which implies that there is something going on there that is unusual because you would expect, as he makes an effort to do this, to see increased activity. It's actually the opposite for Chris. And so we're all trying to figure out what is really happening there. What does this mean? The new series, Beyond Skinwalker Ranch at 10, only on the History Channel.